I wake up and I'm grateful. 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 Oh my goodness. Someone, are you creative visionary? Oh, I'm doing my morning meditation. My sun gazing. I wake up and I'm grateful. I wake up and I'm grateful. Ooh, I wake up and I'm grateful. Sing with me. I wake up and I'm grateful. Ooh, I wake up and I'm grateful. I wake up and I'm grateful. Oh, blessing the sun. Ah, yes. It's like seven o'clock in the morning. The sun is gazing right here. Boom. Yes, it's a beautiful day. I can't even look at the camera because the sun is right here. It is just gazing. It is just gazing. It's just got gazing at me. So I have come to the part of my journey where I wake up. I wake up and I'm grateful. I had an interesting experience yesterday it was really interesting it's like i had a shift in consciousness i was speaking to one guy i went for lunch yesterday i went out yesterday and i met this guy he was really so interesting you know like hippies are really interesting people because they've just got such open minds and you could literally just speak to a person for a few hours random person and um you can have a mind altering experience so i was speaking to this guy yesterday and he said to me oh you know human beings need to be led and i said that's interesting tell me more and he says the nature of human loves to be led i said well, I don't really like to lead people. That's authoritative leadership. I think people need to learn how to think. He says that's the that's the that's the interesting part. People don't know how to think. <laughs> oh, I laughed. He was like, you know, honestly, if you wanted to start your own religion, you could literally start your own religion and you can get rich. And I said, right. And I'm going to attract sheep mindless sheep who don't want to think i don't think so he's like but that's the whole point people don't want to be think don't want to think i said this is quite something this is quite something people don't want to think they want to be told what to do told what to think told how to live their lives because they don't know how to live their lives this is the nature of human <laughs> the nature of human doesn't know how to live its life this is quite something i really enjoyed having like lunch with this guy yesterday he was just such an open mind And um, I just sat and just listened and I just asked questions. I love men. Oh my God. I love smart men. Oh, there is nothing better than a smart man. There is nothing better than a smart man. Like I really love me. I like, I really love men. Nobody can tell me about this. I really love like smart men. It's like, there's this beautiful exchange of 
knowledge when you when you encounter a smart man like i really love smart men like i really admire smart men yeah he's like yeah just start your own religion i'm like okay i don't think that's maybe but why would i want to start my own religion he's like yeah but like why would you not why would you not number one I do not subscribe to being a spiritual teacher because I am not a spiritual teacher. I am not a chosen one. I'm a visionary. There's a difference. Um, <laughs> what is the difference? I didn't like to label myself. Once you start labeling yourself, I am this, I am this, I am this. People will put you in a box. So this is why I don't label myself. I'm not a chosen one. I'm not, I'm, I'm just nothing. I'm just, living my life and enjoying the sun sun gazing sun gazing sun gazing but that was such an interesting conversation he was like yeah people don't know how to think the school system has made it so that people don't know people don't know how to think it's a conundrum and i said to him but then why are they so arrogant even though they don't know nothing? He says that's the nature of human. Is that when you don't even know that you don't even know, you become so stupid that you become arrogant. I said, that's quite a conundrum. That's my new word at the moment, conundrum. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? So we're living in this new level of vibration, this new level of consciousness. And people don't, <laughs> people don't know how to think. I've always said this, but um, to speak to some random, what? Well, okay, I don't think he was random. I think, you know, these things are synchronicity maybe to some degree. But he was like, yeah, no, just look at the people here on this island. They don't know how to think. Just look at them. They're all doing yoga. Um, they're all doing the same thing. If somebody says, I've got something new, they run and go all do the same thing. If somebody says, I've got something this, they all run and go and do the same thing. Honestly, if you started your own religion, they would follow. And I said, no, but it's the soul. I, I have no desire to be responsible for other people's souls. Because these souls are arrogant too they don't listen they don't listen they don't listen they don't have a capacity to listen i'm not saying the souls here on the island i'm saying the souls on planet earth they don't have a capacity to listen i just look at my own family i just look at my own siblings they couldn't listen they had to learn the hard way they had to learn the hard way i think that's the nature of human is just to learn the hard way and i have no desire for this but what a great conversation People don't know how to think. This, it's a, this is why I've kept saying this. It's a program. They teach you how to be a bot. They teach you how to be a bot. And this is why they have a lot. We have a lot of the copy paste people. Copy paste, copy paste. To tell me what to do. I don't know what to do. Tell me what to do. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. Tell me what to do. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Tell me what to do. Yeah, it's quite something. It's quite something. Okay, human beings. I think we have a capacity to move beyond this ignorance. Okay, I think we have a capacity to move beyond being sexual, eating, pooping, sleeping souls. That's what they call them in Buddhism. Fucking, shitting, eating, sleeping souls. You wake up to eat, to sleep, to fuck, to shit. Fucking, shitting, eating, sleeping souls. We need to, we need to evolve beyond this. Okay, Buddhism, they don't say that like I'm saying it with such um, vulgarity. But as millennials, that's what we would say, right? And the Gen Zs, <laughs> this is what we would say. Yeah, but the nature of human is this eat, wake up, eat, sleep, have no, wake up, eat, poop, have sex, and sleep like animals. 
So most of us on planet Earth are still living in like an animalistic level of consciousness. That's scary. This is why so many people live in fear and greed. greed. I am going to conquer the whole world at what cost? What is the cost and how many bad choices must you make while on this path to conquering the world? The more I've been calling on divine justice and divine retribution, the better I sleep and I wake up in the morning and I say, I am so grateful, so grateful. I wake up in the morning and I say, I'm so grateful, so grateful. Why? I'm grateful that I, I've never that I never let greed overtake me, that I never let fear overtake me, that, oh my God, everyone, <clears throat> everyone has had instances and opportunities to let greed take them over. But there was something in my consciousness that's always like, the, this is not going to end well. This is not going to end well. I know that it's a gift from divinity, to have that level of discernment, even at a very young age, I've like had that level of discernment. That's why I've always been able to maneuver out of situations. That's why I've never been caught up in, um, in bad things. Mm. That's why I've never been caught up in bad things. And I'm thankful to God for that. Now that I look back, I'm like, I'm thankful to God. I'm really thankful to my ancestors. I'm really thankful to my higher self for that because I've had this level of discernment where I don't allow greed. I've never allowed greed to take me over. I've never. I've never allowed fear to completely take me over. I can be in fear for a bit and analyze the fear and talk to myself through that fear and then I snap out of it. I've never allowed hate to fully take over me. And I was talking to this guy about hate and I said, yeah, I think we should um, relish in our states of hatred so that we can talk about it and be fully authentic about it because there's a lot of hate here on planet Earth. There is a lot of hate. And if we don't talk about all of these stages of consciousness where you are in greed, you are in hate, you are in anger, you are in love, you are in grief, you are in sadness, you are in apathy, you are... How do we evolve? How do we grow? When I was depressed, I was in a state of absolute sadness, not hopelessness, but sadness, you know? And I talked about it when I was um, in fear. I, I talked about it, and I think the more we are authentic about our experiences... Okay, I mean, I'm not going to share everything with you, but the more we are... Ex authentic about our experiences on this planet the more we give ourselves the opportunity to be authentic i went through a stage of pure anger but i used my anger to call on justice i used my anger to call on justice call on justice and the more i've been using the rage that was inside of me um to call on justice the more I wake up in the morning and I feel grateful, grateful for the past few years where I was living through hell, grateful because honestly, people who can put, people who can try to put you in that level of hell, I feel sorry for them because that means they are in a worst hell realm than they try to put me. How could you not feel sorry for them? <laughs> Actually, I don't care. I don't feel sorry for anybody. I don't care. Um, but like, how could you not? Yeah, to be in that level of hell where you want to cr create hell for another person. It's like, wow, are you even human? Are you even human? So yeah, now that I've kind of like, I've switched. I've come, I had an, awa I had an awakening. I had an, an um, a shift in consciousness. And I'm now living in gratitude and I'm just like, I am so grateful, so grateful, I am so grateful, so grateful, I am so grateful.
so grateful. Yeah, I'm so grateful. I'm so great. I'm so thankful and grateful that COVID didn't put me in a space of extreme hate where I want to kill, where I want to steal. Oh my God. I am so thankful. So thankful. Human beings, it's so important to acknowledge each stage of stage of consciousness. Every emotion you experience, acknowledge it. Because if you do not acknowledge it, that emotion will take over you. You will, you will live hell. And before we close off, I want to share this with you. Be conscious of people who are telling you that they've got their own religions. Okay, I'm not saying we shouldn't explore something new. And especially if there's a new idea coming through consciousness. I'm not saying we should not explore this. But there's, there's a lot of sick human beings here on planet that, that want to start their own religions because they want power and control. You cannot move from fear to love just like that. Oh, I'm just going to like, I'm going to meditate myself to manifestation and to love. That's not true. It doesn't work like that because that means you haven't dealt with the layers of consciousness, hate, greed, fear, anger, apathy, all of these stuff. You just want to jump from here to here, from hate to anger. It does not work like that. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. Honestly, it doesn't work like that. You've got to be able to look at the stages of consciousness in, in which you are in. Be okay with where you are. Just don't go kill people. Just don't go do crazy things. You know what I'm saying? Um... But look at the stage of consciousness and say, yes, I'm in hatred right now. But like this hatred is inside of me. It is not outside and nobody on the outside can make me feel hatred because I had to come to that point of like self analysis, self psychoanalysis where I, but you see, I sit outside and I talk to trees. This is my, this is my power. Talk to trees because as I'm here outside with the trees, oxygen to the brain so I can think more clearly, get outside human being. Get outside and go talk to trees. Um, I, I will never stop tree therapy. I can't. I will never stop tree therapy. There's a power to tree therapy. There truly is a power to tree therapy. I get incredible ideas. I unlock my own mind. And I really encourage everyone to practice, even if it's an hour of tree therapy every, okay, yeah, an hour of tree therapy every single day. Just go sit under a tree. 30 minutes a day and just breathe in fresh oxygen, fresh air. And you, you'll start to see your, your thought process will change. I am at a place now of gratitude. I woke up and I did my prayer work while it was still dark, three o'clock in the morning, like so. I called on justice and divine retribution. And then I went back and took a nap. And then I woke up with such joy in my spirit and such gratitude and i said this thing works this thing works yeah this thing works but be conscious of what stage of what emotions am i feeling today am i happy am i sad am i depressed am i angry am i in hatred just be conscious when you wake up every first thing open your eyes how do i feel I feel angry. Why do I feel angry? Uh, because this and this and this and this happened. Okay. Can that person or that experience have power over me? Or am I going to choose to live in my authenticity? My authenticity is power. Nothing on the outside can have power on me. Nothing. No life experience. Only you. And what, like, Look, it's taken me some time to get to a place where I'm like, I'm grateful and I can sing my gratitude. Once I can sing my gratitude, it's game over. <laughs> and I'm so thankful for that guy that I met just randomly for lunch. He was just such an amazing chat. Yeah. Synchronicities. I love men. Honestly, I really love smart men. I can't deal with lazy men. I can't deal with men who don't read, men who are not really smart. It's just, it's not my thing. But like talking to a smart guy where you can have a deep conversation, it's like, God, 
<laughs> more of these kind of men in my life. Thank you. So, I'm grateful. Freedom Friday. I'm free. Freedom Friday. Free yourself. Free yourself to never be ashamed of the emotional states in which you are in. If you're angry, say, yes, I'm angry right now. Mm -hmm. So how do I get out of this anger? Not drink myself out of this anger, but get outside, sit under a tree and breathe. May I be happy. May I be peaceful. May I be liberated from all ignorance. May I be liberated from all suffering. You're going to get out of your angers. If you're happy, expand on that happiness. Number and uh, number two, you cannot get from hate to love. This is this is a fallacy. It never works like this. You've got to go through all of the emotions and say, you don't have to go through all of the emotions. You've got to go through your emotional landscape and say, it's okay that I'm hella depressed right now, hella angry, hella, but I'm not going to go do something bad. I'm not going to take an action based on my emotions. Okay. Okay, okay, you don't want to end up in places that you don't like understand because your emotions are running you and you don't know. But now we like love and light, love and light, I just want to love and light, love and light, love and light. No, but you are rot inside. It's okay to acknowledge that I'm rot inside. And as I am rot inside, I can deal with it. I can work through these emotions. I can work through these emotions. Yeah, it's okay to say that. I'm telling you. I, when I'm feeling anger, I just get up and I call justice. I call justice. Mm -hmm. I call justice. And then I go back, take a little nap if I have to, if my body still needs a little nap. Take a little nap. I wake up in the morning. I'm just uh, so grateful that I got my voice to call on justice. Okay, lovers. Thank you for listening. I've taught you a lot. Embrace your emotions. They are power. Embrace your authenticity. Your, your authenticity is power. Be grateful for the experiences that you've had. Good or bad, something amazing will come out of it. Yes? Bye.